Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's lesson, we will be doing scale exercises, but we're gonna make them a little bit more fun than normal. So we'll be playing to a click track and also a little backing track in the background there. You'll, you can hear uh, playing C and A minor, okay? So I'm gonna start off with the C major scale. And then I'm gonna start that C major scale on the third degree, which is an E note, which is E Phrygian. And it's gonna harmonize with the loop that I have going in the background. So I'm just playing the C major scale or the C Ionian mode, whatever you like to call that, uh, down and back. So when I go to the third degree of that scale, it's E Phrygian, it's a third harmony. And then we're gonna move up to the fifth degree of that scale where we would start the scale on a G and play from G to G. That's G Mixolydian. And then we're gonna start the scale on the sixth degree and that's an A note, it's an A minor scale or an A Aeolian mode, okay? So we're gonna start off, you'll see on your diagram there that we're gonna start with the C major scale or the C Ionian. We'll break down every one of these scale patterns and then we're gonna put them together with the backing track. So just to recap, the C major scale or the C Ionian mode, you're gonna play three, five, seven on your A. <laughs> Three five seven on the D, four five seven on the G, five six eight on the B, and five seven eight on the high E. Okay, so I'm going to show you this, this the picking sequence, and the picking sequence once you get it on this this scale shape here, it's the same for every for the other three. Okay, so we're going to play four note sequences. So we're going to play three, five, seven on your A. And that's your fourth note here is the one underneath where you just started. Okay, so it's on the third fret of the D string. You'll see this on your tab diagram here. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to start here on the seventh fret of your A string and play seven and then three, five, seven on your D and that's your next four notes. So once you get that pattern, it looks like so. That should be eight notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so once you get that pattern, that's the pattern that you're going to repeat, okay? So those two strings that you just played. And the last note you played is on your D string. So you're going to start your sequence again on the same string that you just finished on, the D string. You'll play three, five, seven, and then you're going to grab that four on the G, okay? So that's your four notes again. Okay, and then come back up to the seven on the D. And then grab the three underneath here on the G, and that's four, five, seven. You'll see that in your diagram. So, so that's your four note sequence, okay? So it's eight notes all together. And then you're gonna start on the string you just left off on the G string. You play four, five, seven. You're gonna grab that five on the B string, okay? You'll see that in your diagram. One, two, three, four. Grab that seven that you just had there on your G string. And then it's five, six, eight on the B. All right, so there's your next set of eight notes. And you left off in the B string, so you're gonna start on the B string and you have five, six, eight on the B. And you're gonna grab the five on the high E, go back to the eight on the B, and then five, seven, eight, on the high E to finish, okay? So there's your next eight notes, okay? So it's five, six, eight on the B, grab the five on the high E, come back to the eight on the B, and then five, seven, eight on the high E. And that's how the picking sequence goes. Now, when I play this, this uh, exercise, I don't play that last note of the scale. I hold the second last note of the scale for two beats because I'm going to be coming down on this string to descend this sequence on the way back, okay? So I, I, I have to hold that note and then, or if I don't do that, I'm going to have an extra note in here, okay? It's just, it's just to fit in the timing of this exercise. Okay, so I'll play the whole thing nice and slow. I'll show you how I'm going to end on the last, second last note of the scale. Instead of playing the octave here, I'm going to end on the seventh note of the scale here, okay, the B note. Okay, and then I 
go. note I don't play that root note because I'm going to finish on the D note there and I'm going to slide up to the E note after that and this is my third degree of the scale I'm going to start on an E note play E to E same exact uh, sequence okay so once you learn the sequence here in the C major when I go up to here to the third degree which is um, E Phrygian it's the same exact sequence just different frets okay and you'll see that in your tab okay so we'll start here on the seventh fret and I have second uh, the, the last note of the scale I don't play the octave the E because that's going to be my descending note that I'm going to start on so I don't want to play that because I'll be playing it twice and it's going to screw up my timing so that's why I'm ending on that 10th fret there of the high E okay it's a D note so I'm going to descend it starting on the 12th fret here you'll see in your tab okay it's all tabbed out for you second note of the scale there I didn't end on the on the E there I ended on the the F okay because I'm gonna start now on the fifth degree of that scale which is a G note you'll see in your tab this is the mixolydian <laughs> Instead of ending on, on that note, I'm ending on the note before it because I want to start my descending lick on that note, okay? And I'm going to descend this lick. And I'm going to end on the 12th fret there because I don't want to end on that G. Okay, I'm going to start my next sequence on the 12th fret, which is the 6th degree, and that's your A Aeolian or your A minor, okay? Okay, so I don't end on the, on the octave. I'm going to start on that octave there. I just start the whole sequence over again. So you can start on your C major scale, C Ionian, play that down and back, then go to your seventh fret. You're going to do your E Phrygian, third degree, down and back. Go to the tenth fret, which is the G, G Mixolydian, fifth degree, down and back. To the twelfth fret, A, sixth degree, down and back. Okay, and it, you'll hear the harmony as we're doing this. Okay.
that is it for this lesson. Uh, this is a great way to practice scales. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I'll upload the backing track so you can, you can practice along. Um, what I have looping in the backing track is uh, I'm playing the C major scale back and forth for you. So you can play that and then go into your harmony. You can play your third harmony starting on your E note. Okay, you'll see your tabs. Your tabs will be provided for you as well. Uh, play along with that. You'll know, hear the harmony in thirds, and then you can harmonize the scale in fifths, and then also in sixths, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have fun practicing, and we'll see you at the next video.